All right, everyone, welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna do a little recap. I've been building a range extender mini bike. Um, that's a gasoline engine powering a generator, powering a charger that charges an electric battery, which runs a bike. And now I've been doing some initial testing and I'm gonna do some fiberglass work. And I've been laying up some foam and now I'm gonna start laying over the fiberglass, which I've never done before, so this is my first time. So, this is it, uh, moving forward, gonna make the next step, and hopefully I don't budget all up, ruin all this work, but we'll find out. We'll keep going. So right now we're cutting all the excess off and getting a journalized shape of the fiberglass so that when we lay it up, we don't have big folds and stuff. And my friend Kyle's here helping. What's up? Thanks, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it's the next day after the layup, and it's nice and hard. Um, it's not totally, totally cured yet. I'm gonna give it another like five hours, but there's this stuff called amine or amine blush that comes out of the epoxy, and I'm gonna give it a nice wash with soapy water and get that waxiness off of it and then give it a block sand at like 60 to try and get some of these lumps done. You can see some of that transferred through, but I'm gonna give it a nice sanding. After I wash it all off um, and sand it, I'm going to do another couple layers of fiberglass and then one carbon fiber over the top. That's going to make it nice and strong and hopefully if I sand it well enough uh, right now, I shouldn't have to worry about sanding it too much after I'm done. Back to the sanding block and getting dusty. I'm going to put full gear on, full body, full respirator because I don't want to breathe in any of this fiberglass dust. Yeah, turned out good. Turned out really good. I'm really surprised. Thanks to Kyle to come out and helping. Um, gonna keep moving forward. So we got two layers across the whole piece. We got a third layer coming down the top. We got a third, like almost three or four layers across the front edge. Now you can see I had to use some uh, store-bought ones 
but so we're gonna have some seams that we're gonna have to sand out before we potentially put the carbon fiber but after looking at this i might not do the carbon fiber because it's going to be patchwork and it's not gonna look very good and i don't know how much it's going to add to it so we'll see how strong this is and if it's not strong i'll add carbon fiber to it but i think it should be okay so but we're done high five come on <laughs> well we had another day of layup and we got three more layers we actually used medium hardener today it's because it was a little bit warmer and it actually went a lot better we had about two hours of time where we could put all the layers on uh, probably cut the panels off uh, at this point and then build some mounts prep for paint sand it everything else i'm going to give about two days to dry completely before i start sanding i gotta wash it and then sand it down but yeah, it looks really good. Super excited about it because this is the first time I've done fiberglass and it's actually turned out pretty good. There's going to be a lot of more work as far as sanding goes to get everything cleaned up. But I mean, as far as being functional, I think we're there. So pretty excited. I gotta clean this off, clean out the foam, and uh, make some mounts. <sighs> Thank you. 
cut took a lot longer than I thought it was going to, but it turned out amazing. I am super stoked on how much I learned from this project as far as fiberglass, and I can't wait to take this to the full-size streamliner, which should be coming soon. So be sure to subscribe, check out the videos. I got another project coming right on the lift. Unfortunately, we're at a stay-at-home order right now, so I, I can't be taking this bike out on a long road trip, but I will be doing that soon. Once we're able to get out of this house and go do stuff, I'm going to take it for a nice long road trip, and I'll have videos for that one too. So thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you have any, any other suggestions for videos I should make, bikes I should build, or stuff I should do, be sure to leave it in the comments below. And thank you so much. Really appreciate it.